Abdullah says, if we enter the masjid and the prayer has not been established yet, we begin to pray tahiyyatul masjid. Or do we pray the sunnah? But what do we do if the iqamah is being called? Shall we complete our salat or break it to join the congregation? Well, first of all, we have to understand that when we look at the sunnah, there is an instruction of the Prophet ﷺ not to sit in a masjid until we pray two rak'ahs. And the other instruction is that whenever the iqamah is given, then there is no prayer valid. Now let's look at these two instructions first. Whenever you enter a masjid, you must not sit down until you pray two rak'ahs. These two rak'ahs were named and labeled by the jurors with tahiyyatul masjid. Never you will find in the Quran or in the Sunnah the word tahiyyatul masjid. This is a phrase, a description that the jurors made up. So this led the people to think that this is a specific prayer that we should pray other than the Sunnah of the Salat itself, which is wrong. Whenever you enter the masjid, pray the Sunnah, two rak'ahs before Fajr, four rak'ahs before Dhuhr, before sitting down. And this suffices for Tahiyyat al-Masjid because you did exactly what the Prophet said, والسلام, which is praying two rak'ahs before sitting down. Part two of the question is that, okay, I started to pray and the Mu'adhin gave the iqama for the fard prayer. What should I do? Well, scholars differed. And some of them said that you have to immediately exit your, your salat. And some said, no, you have to complete your salat till the end. And the middle path is the most authentic opinion, which is that if I joined, if I started my, my sunnah prayer and I'm in the first rak'ah, if the iqamah is given to finish my first rak'ah and then stand up and finish my second rak'ah, the imam would definitely begin his salat. In this case, I have to finish and break my salat, not continue. So I'm in the first rak'ah, I immediately walk and join the row and join the congregation. Giving salam or not, doesn't matter. I just intended to break my salat. If I'm in the second rak'ah, and then the iqamah is given, I have to estimate, hmm, if I make ruku, if I only recite the Fatiha, no surah, and then make ruku or say Subhan Rabbi Azim once, Sama Allah min hamdi Rabbana wa lakal hamd, Allah Akbar Subhan Rabbi Al A'la once, and Rabbi Ghfirli once, Subhan Rabbi Al A'la once, and I sit down and make the tashahud and the salutation and offer salam, and there is time for me to join before the Imam gives the first takbir, then continue with your prayer. If you estimate and say, nope, I'm not going to make it. I'm going to be five or ten minutes, ten seconds late. And the imam would give the takbir before I join the row. In this case, break your prayer. So you have to be the judge. Some of the mu'adhan make the iqama in a couple of minutes. He takes his time in his iqama. And some do it in like 10 to 15 seconds. Faster than a Tesla P100S. So you have to estimate. If you think that you're not going to make it to reach the takbir with the imam, the first takbir, then break your salat and go ahead.